settle it and smash! Hey, what's up guys? Sermo11 here with my review of Super Smash Bros. 3DS or Super Smash Bros. 4 which is like what some people have been calling it. This is the next entry in the great Super Smash Bros. series and here's my review. So, I like this game but in some ways I didn't. Fighting game fans were really surprised by my thoughts on the game. My first game in this series was Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I've also played Melee and the original game. Those games are all nice and Brawl is the only one that I own and I've played the entire game. This version of Smash Bros. lacks a story mode and I think it needs one. In fact, it really needs one. And this is what people were surprised about. They think Smash Bros. is a dedicated fighter while the creator has stated that it is a party game. And I think it's both. And I also think it needs a story mode. Guys, let's be honest. This game gets boring without a story mode. I love playing online like the next guy, but after a few matches, I'm bored. A story mode makes the game longer and worth more. I don't think this game is even worth $40. And um, so you're telling me all of you paid $40 just to fight each other online or do you really love the classic mode smash run all-star mode and all that classic mode is okay i don't really like how it's been changed there was nothing wrong with it before the new boss is very hard to beat and i can't even beat it at, at its higher levels i've tried many characters but it's not really a big goal for me though i think um i like the uh the boss from Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which was also very hard, but when you fought him, you had, yeah, I believe you had multiple characters. I think this boss needs needs that. You need multiple characters because fighting this boss with one character, there's no way. One character, two lives, different forms. First, you have to fight Master Hand, then you have to fight Crazy Hand. Um, well, both of those at the same time. And then you have to fight the Master Core, and depending on the difficulty, the Master Core could have, like, three or four forms or even more than that I believe so that's why I, I haven't beaten it I'm just not that good <clears throat> story modes are more what I like to complete don't get me wrong the story mode in Brawl wasn't great looking uh, wasn't great looking back on it you know looking okay the story mode in Brawl wasn't great you know looking back on it but it was nice at certain points to see all the cutscenes and fight bosses that's more of, you know, why I like a story mode in games. Smash Run sucks. I don't want to argue on that one. Smash Run looked awesome, but it didn't live up to the hype. It doesn't even have online. Why is that? It seems perfect for online. And I don't want to play a game like that with just CPUs. It would have made more sense to have all the characters running around and attacking each other. I think you can see the other characters, but you can't attack each other. I'm not... No... No, I don't think you can see each other either. So I don't, I don't know. You can't even fight other players until the Smash Run is over. And then um, once the Smash Run is over, it has like unique modes and stuff. And I'm pretty sure you can't even pick these modes when playing with friends or playing on your own. So that's also a problem within itself. I think that's kind of lame. All-Star mode is alright. It's just fighting all the characters. They're weakened because there's no way you could take them all on if they were high level well maybe some players but you know those are my thoughts on the, on the various modes and stuff i think um it's i either like classic mode or all-star mode the best out of the bunch smash run you know i don't really like that and um i think a story mode would really helped it out that's just me the developer worked very hard on these games but i think he needs more time and needs to work less Making two games at once seemed to make this version worse. The Wii U version looks great. While it doesn't have a story mode, I've heard Smash Tour is bad, you know, which is basically um, the 3DS got Smash Run and the Wii U got Smash Tour. It looked better visually and everyone switched to the Wii U version when it came out. This seems like the ugly twin or the bad version of the, the bunch. Overall, both games need more content. I respect the developer for all his hard work, but whoever made the call to release these games like this has problems. First of all, the game shouldn't be this different. They should have all the same stages. There needs to be a story mode. His reasoning for not having a story mode was completely idiotic. He says something about people looking up the cutscenes online 
well, of course people do that. I do that. I don't go to my game to do that. After I see them once in the game, I don't really replay them, unless it's Kingdom Hearts. I pr I'm pretty sure I've seen Axel and Xion face off over a hundred times. That's just such a great scene. But anyway, no one said that the story mode was amazing. It makes the game longer. It gives you something to do. This game doesn't even have enough content. That's the main point. There should there should have been more mini games or I don't know, just more of something. I play the game because it's fun, but fighting CPUs when I don't have Wi-Fi is very lame after a few matches. The same with the online, you know, playing with people online after a while gets boring. I only play for glory one versus one. I thought I was gonna play for fun, but that's just not my thing. I think for fun, one-on-one -on -one would have been a better idea. I don't know why that's not an option. And I know we can do that with friends, but I want to do that with random people. Also, what about a tournament mode? Is that so hard to pull off? The game, this game lags a little bit too. I know they, I, I believe they promised um, either no lag or that it would be better than Brawl, which it is better than Brawl, but it happens sometimes. And, you know, this doesn't happen in Mario Kart. Uh, Mario Kart never lags. I believe Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 lags a little bit, but Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart Wii, those games don't lag at all. If there's a problem with the Wi-Fi or anything like that, you'll be kicked from the room rather than, you know, the game starting to lag and trying to continue um, the connection or whatever. So, um, as far as the new characters, I like Dark Pit. He was my main for a while. Now I'm not so sure. I like how he can deflect attacks. Duck Hunt Dog scene, by the way, there will be spoilers on the characters um, in the game. I, I don't know, this game's been out for a while. If you if you honestly don't know the characters, I, I don't know what's wrong. I, I guess you somehow stayed away from the news or anything or something like that. Uh, just skip towards the end of the video if you uh, don't want to hear any character spoilers. So yeah. Duck Hunt Dog seems like uh, he would be good with combos. I don't really like using him myself. Little Mac is nice if you know how to use him, but if he gets knocked off the stage, it's over. His jump is completely terrible. I don't like how Pit can't fly when he recovers. He just kind of shoots up. Kirby can now move with the hammer. I like that. Dr. Mario is all right. I was never a big fan of using him or Mario, and I don't get to see many... Final, sma final smashes due to me using the four glory mode um it's just you know there there's no i don't know i don't really play with items anymore that that was more of what i did on brawl now i kind of see why people like doing one versus one or you know playing a little bit more competitively so i haven't really seen all the final smashes i think i'm aware of all the final smashes i just haven't seen all of them in game I doubt I will ever see all of them in game. I don't really play this game all the time, but I play it often. <laughs> uh, let me see where am I at? Charizard's pretty good. I like using Flare Blitz on on people. He's a character I'm starting to use more. I don't like Robin's jumps because I can't master it, and it seems kind of weak. Like the air, what is it, Air Wing or Air Wind or something like that. I haven't played the Fire Emblem game, so I don't know if it's in the game or something. Lucina is a twist on Mark, Mar Marth, not Mark. I'll check out Fire Emblem eventually. I actually talked to some friends uh, the other day about it, and they said they really love the game. So, you know, a lot of people like Fire Emblem. It's just like the price has never dropped. So, you know, like once I get some money, I'll try to buy it for full price. Because apparently the developers never really dropped the price of Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. I think Chrom should have been the game. That trailer was a troll move. Okay, Sakurai, that trailer was a troll move. And um, I get bored, so I pick random sometimes. And I, I play it with Rosalina and Luma. They come up sometimes. And I don't really like using her, but other players can get some really good combos out of her. I like Samus, though. Uh, that's a character that, that was like my second main, I believe. And I'm starting to use Captain Falcon and Ness, although not as much. Those are characters I used a lot in um, Brawl. Bowser, which is my third um, sort of main. He does a lot of damage, but he makes me feel like I'm cheating when I use him. I was playing my friend, and I killed him within seconds with Bowser, and he was worried. He was like, what the heck is going on? 
And I think the Pokemon trainer should have returned with one from each region. That was always like my prediction for um like the next Smash Bros game. Like we would get um another Pokemon trainer from a different region with different Pokemon and everything. And maybe it would be cool like if we could switch up like the evolutions and stuff, but that would require a lot of character models. I don't know if they want to do that or not. Greninja is all right. Some some players are really good with him. I like Bowser Jr., which I believe is my fourth um, main. His jump attack is something that people don't expect, especially if you combine it with the toy. I like when Pac-Man throws down the fire hydrant, but I don't really like using Pac-Man that much. And I think the 3DS works well as a controller, and I might use it when I get the Wii U version of the game. I'm actually going to play with my friends uh, one day, so I might go over there and use the 3DS as a controller if I can do that. If I can do that on a different copy, because Nintendo's weird. Like, things have to be exclusive to one copy of the game. I, I don't know. Palatina is a character I don't use. I don't like the move set. Shulk is really feeling it. His sword can go into different modes that, you know, boost him. And he was the first character I used in the game, you know, ignoring the demo. Oh, and remember those demo codes? That was crazy. People were selling those and everything. Um, the Paper Mario stage sucks, and whoever came up with that should be beat up. The Ice Climbers were dropped due to not working on um, the 3DS version, which makes no sense. I think they could be possible DLC. I mean, come on, people. We already know that Mewtwo isn't the only one coming. I think there's going to be a lot more DLC planned besides Mewtwo. And I don't really like using Mii's, but apparently they're very strong. The Villager has a unique moveset. Mega Man does too. I don't really use the Wii Fit Trainer. My favorite stage is Corneria. And I'm not a big fan of the small selection of new stages. Anyway, the new stages just... I'm not really feeling them. <laughs> I think Shulk's feeling them, but I'm not. I normally use flat stages, or um, I believe those are the normal forms, right? And then the the uh, the the normal forms are the omega forms, but the flat ones are the normal ones. I think that's how it works. This is wishful thinking, but I hope the two versions combine at some point. Also, why weren't they bundled together? I thought that was a, a very obvious thing that Nintendo was gonna do, but they never did it. So. Um, I think it would be cool, like, eventually down the line, after the games have been out for a little bit, go ahead and link the two modes, um, if you can put all the content on one thing. I don't know if the 3DS can have all the stages, but I'm pretty sure the Wii U version can handle all the stages and all of that and all the modes. So, the trailers for this game look truly amazing, and there could have been a story mode, a good story mode. Just get a good writing team, and I also like the anime trailer too. Smash Bros could have a short anime series, that would be really nice. Link vs. Pit was great. So, um, you know, overall, Super Smash Bros. 4 is a lackluster new entry in the series. Due to foolishness on someone's part, someone's part the game feels incomplete due to the two versions, and the lack of a story mode. Splitting, splitting the content or producing exclusive content does get people to buy each version, but on um, on its own, like on the 3DS version, it's not worth $40. I miss the story mode. I like playing this game, but it gets old after a while. Playing CPUs when I'm bored, classic mode, or all-star mode. I rarely play Smash Run. Online is good for the most part, but that also gets boring. And apparently for feeling this way, people think fighting games aren't for me. I disagree. I just think a good story mode can make a game worth more. Those are my thoughts on Super Smash Bros. 4. If you'd like to play, send me your friend code and I'll send mine. And if you remind me, I'll put my friend code in the description. I've been adding more strangers, so I'm slowly running out of friend space on my 3DS. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And um, be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter, which are also available in the description. And I wanted to give a shout out to my friend. Um... Nick, who's starting to make YouTube videos and everything, so uh, he's gonna be a he's a Let's player, and his channel is Nicholas Stewart. He I don't think he has a unique channel name right now. I don't know if he's gonna do that or anything. And it's just a Let's Let's play of I Darb with Adam and Nick, so him and his friend, and it's a really cool game. It's like a soccer match sort of thing, but um, it's in two D. I don't, I don't know like a good way of explaining this game, but it's a I believe it's an Xbox Live game, so you guys could check that out. Uh, I'll just leave a link in the description to the game, I mean to the channel and everything. And uh, that's it, anyways, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Peace.